So I think, yes, there's going to be Buckingham Palace. Yes, we're going to be in the Houses of Parliament. Yes, we might bump into David Beckham or see a bit of football. But behind all that, on the sidelines of the football, at the back of the theatre, on the queue on the way into Parliament, which I reckon Xi Jinping can jump, um, I think there's going to be some very serious discussion going on. We're going to be talking about how we al align our financial systems. I think this is going to be key to the agenda. I think we're going to be looking at Shanghai, London, Stock Connect. I think we're going to be looking at the RMB Clearing Bank. So China is on the threshold of becoming the global superpower. The UK years ago was a global superpower. So I think there's going to be a lot of swapping of notes. The Brits tend to be reserved. They're reluctant about beating their own drum. But now it appears that they are really turning on the charm. Why is that? You know, the Americans push open the door and then the Brits walk quietly through it. And this is why, this is why I think we're turning on the charm, as you put it so well, now. Because we realise the time is now. China's economy is moving up the value chain. It's no longer about importing agricultural goods. It's not just about cars. It's not just about roads. It's about investment in real estate. It's about developing uh, agricultural investment overseas. It is about Alibaba beginning to rule the sort of global internet sphere. You know, China has 660 million internet users. This is a very large middle class. And the UK, this is just when the UK comes of age in terms of international relations because we have the creative industries, the educational opportunities and the financial and legal services to take a country like China from good to great.